Hi everyone, welcome to my another lecture on Cochise Integral Formula. Cochise Integral Formula. This is the second lecture on Cochise Integral Formula. In this lecture, the learner will be able to understand two important sums using Cochise Integral. The sums I have taken from university question paper. This is very, very important for BSc, BTEC, IIT exam, CSI and NET, and GATE exam. In my previous lecture, I explained very nicely Cochise integral formula along with an example. This is example number two and example number three I will do here. So the sum is use Cochise integral formula to evaluate this. Here the curve is mod z equal to three that is contour. Contour that is mod z equal to three. So before that, once again, I repeat what is Cochise integral formula. Fz is analytic function within and on a closed curve C. So this is the closed curve here, mod z equal to 3. This is a circle of center 0, 0 radius is 3. Closed curve, that is starting and ending point are same. Closed curve, it may be a circle, it may be a square, it may be a rectangle or any other closed curve like this is a closed curve this is a closed curve starting and ending point are same okay and z equal to z0 what is this this is a singular point with within c that singular point lie within the closed curve that is if it is a circle suppose this is a circle then z equal to z0 inside the closed curve that is here is suppose say z0 inside the closed curve then we can write f of z0 that is f of z0 f of singular point function of singular point 1 by 2 pi i integration fz by z minus z0 this equation again can be written as integrations fz by z minus z0 this part equal to this into this cross multiplication that is 2 pi i into f of z0 z0 what is z0 that is the singular part now now this is actually a statement using this statement using this statement i will do sums okay i will do sums using this statement so how to solve this sum how to solve this sum that is when this is given that is from this sum we have to find first singular point how to get the singular point so here you see denominator is z minus 1 and z minus 2 product that is a factor two factors are there z minus 1 and z minus 2 if we put denominator equal to 0, then we are getting two values of z, right? z equal to 1 and z equal to 2. So z equal to 1 and z equal to 2, this is whole, if we say whole thing is as fz, then fz is not defined. That means fz is not analytic for z equal to 1 and z equal to 2. fz is not defined you can see also when fz that is z equal to 1 denominator is 0 so this is not defined okay or z equal to 2 this is again not defined that means whole thing this will not uh, analytic function okay let's see so now what will you do first of all to get singular point singular point we put denominator equal to 0 that is z minus 1 into z minus 2 
is equal to 0, therefore z equal to 1 comma 2, okay. z equal to 1, that is z, we can say z0 equal to 1, that is the singular point. So, this can be written as 1 plus 0 into i, that is equal to 1 comma 0. z0 equal to 2, so this again can be written as 2 plus 0 into i, that is 2 comma 0, okay, okay. Now, 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 now very important thing, now very important thing, that is, that is, after getting the, that is singular point, after getting singular point, we have to draw the closed curve, that is here contour is mod z equal to 3, mod z equal to 3, mod z equal to 3. So, this means that center is 0, 0, this is a circle, this represents a circle, this is the contour. So, this is C actually. So, center is 0, 0 and radius is radius equal to 3, radius equal to 3. If we draw it, that is, this is the axis, this is 0, 0, this point is 3, comma 0, because radius is 3, this is x axis, this is y axis, try to understand. So, this is 0, 0, so now center is 0. Now, after getting the contour, that is C, after getting the contour C, it is, it represent a circle of radius 3, center is 0, 0. I explained very nicely in my previous uh, lecture, that is lecture number 1 of Cauchy's integral formula. I have explained very nicely why it is circle, why it is, uh, that is rectangle, wh wh when it is, that is square. Actually, z z mod what is z actually here actually z equal to x plus i y right x plus i y so what is mod z mod z equal to root over x square plus y square so root over x square plus y square is equal to we can write 3 that is x square plus y square equal to 3 square that is x square means x minus 0 whole square plus y minus 0 whole square is equal to 3 square. So, we can say that is center is 0, 0. This is the center and this is the radius, right? Now, now, after getting center and radius of the contour, we have to check the singular points, whether it is lie on the circle or within the circle or outside the circle. These two points, these two points, you see, these two points, these two points, we have to check whether it lies on the circle or inside the circle or outside the circle. If it comes inside the circle, that is, the singular point lies inside the circle, then use this formula. Or on the circle, these two points lies suppose on the circle, then Again, use this form. If the singular point lies outside, both the singular point lies suppose suppose outside the circle. Suppose outside the circle. Then, directly the value of this will be 0. Suppose here contour is 0.5. That is radius is 0.5. If the radius is 0.5, here 0.5, 0, you see. So, here is 1, 1, 0, 1, 0 is outside the circle and 2, 0 again outside the circle. So, integration of this is equal to 0 because both are outside the circle. But here, we are getting here, you see, z, z 0, that is singular point, this is 1, comma 0, this point is 1, comma 0 and 2, comma 0, you see, this is center, this is once again, I am writing clearly. This point is 1, comma 0 and this point is 2, comma 0. So, both the points, that is 1, 0 and 2, 0, both are inside the circle, inside the contour, inside the contour C, both. So, we can apply, we can apply 
that is Cochis integral formula. Cochis integral formula. Okay, Cochis integral formula. Now, 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 how to apply actually here? Here. So that is inside the circle you have got. Now, just I am removing this part. This part. Now, now, we have to see that is what is fz actually here. What is fz here? fz equal to that is sine of pi z square plus cos of pi z square. This is fz. Now, 1 by z minus 1 into z minus 2. You have to break this into partial fraction. This into partial fraction. Suppose, suppose, suppose. How to get the partial fraction? Very easy way you can find. Suppose here is z minus 2. I am writing z minus 2. Then, just you have to remove this part. Suppose z, z minus 2, 0, that is z equal to 2. If we put over here z equal to 2, that is 1 by 2 minus 1, that is 1 we are getting. 1 by 1, that is 1 we are writing. Again here, say z minus 1. Z minus 1. So z minus 1, 0, that is z equal to 1. You have z equal to 1, you have to put in, that is, you have to put 1 by z minus 2. Z minus 2, z equal to 1 in here. If you put here, z equal to 1, 1 minus 2, that is minus 1. So here will be plus, then here minus 1. Okay. So that means plus, minus, minus. So again, that is, this can be written as z minus 2 minus 1 by z minus 1. This is by partial fraction. Directly, how to get, I have explained here. Okay. So now, in the next sum, I, al I will also uh, explain this part again. That is, in that sum also, there is, there is partial fraction. Now, by, uh, that is, Cauchy's integral formula. By Cauchy's integral formula, therefore, By Cauchy's integral formula, by Cauchy's integral formula, by Cauchy's integral formula, that is equal to integration fz by integration, just I am removing this part, that is by Cauchy's integral formula. That is integration fz by z minus 1, z minus 2 dz is equal to that is integration c fz 1 by this can be that is, this was in partial fraction z minus 1. This was in partial fraction, that is dz. So now, this again can be written as c fz by z minus 2, fz by z minus 2, dz minus integration fz by z minus 1, dz. Right. So this is actually, this is actually, apply now, what is this? This by this is equal to 2 pi i z0. That is 2 pi i into f of z0. What is z0? f of z0 means 2, f of 2 minus 2 pi i f of into f of by Cauchy's integral formula by Cauchy's integral formula f of z0 here z0 is 1 this is 1 now if we put over if we put the value of if we put the that is just I am putting the value of I am putting the value of f2 and f1 what is f2 
f2 means z equal to 2 and f1 means z equal to 1. So therefore we can get integration c fz by z minus 1 into z minus 2 dz is equal to 2 pi i f2. What is f2? f2 means sine pi 2 square sin pi 2 square sin pi 2 square minus 2 pi i sin pi 2 square plus cos pi 2 square minus 2 pi i minus 2 pi i sin pi 1 pi into 1 square plus cos pi into 1 square. So that is we can take 2 pi i common that is sin 4, 4 pi minus cos 4 pi. Sin 4 pi plus cos 4 pi sin 4 pi plus cos 4 pi minus sin pi minus cos pi. So sin pi is 0, sin 4 pi is also 0. Cos pi is equal to minus 1 and cos pi is equal to minus 1 and sin 4 pi that is equal to 2 pi i that is 0 plus cos pi minus 1 cos 4 pi that is this to the power 4 minus 1 to the power 4 minus 0 minus of minus 1. So this is this will be plus and here is plus. So 1 plus 1 this is 1 plus 1 2. So and this is 4 pi i 4. How to get 4? Because minus 1 to the power 4 this value actually cos 4 pi value is this and here is so here is 1 here is plus 1 1 plus 1 2 2 into 2 that is 4 pi i. So this is the answer for this sum, for this sum, that is in place of fz, now we can put over here sin pi z square plus cos pi z square by z minus 1 into z minus 2. What is fz? I already shown here. So this is the answer. This sum very important. This sum, you see, came so many times in the university course. Now, now second sum I am doing. Second sum I am doing. I am taking a second sum that is this is this was also important very very important that sum just okay 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 second sum I am doing second sum second sum that is evaluate evaluate this sum from all from question paper also evaluate evaluate integration e to the power z z square plus one c over the circular path over the circular path mod z is equal to 2 mod z equal to mod z equal to 2 you see first of all to see the sum what will you do firstly you have to find if there is a singular point then find singular point yes solution see the solution singular point to get singular point to get singular point we put denominator equal to 0 z square plus 1 is equal to 0 so it can be written as z plus i into z minus i okay z plus i into z minus i so uh, uh, this equal to 0 therefore z equal to i comma minus i z equal to i comma minus i okay z equal to i comma minus i when z 
that is z0 that is singular point z0 equal to i i means 0 plus 1 into i that is equal to 0 comma 1 z0 equal to z0 equal to minus i that is equal to 0 plus minus 1 comma 1 into i that is equal to 0 comma minus 1 yes so these are the two singular points these are the two singular points that is 0 comma 1 and 1 comma 0 comma minus 1 okay now you have to draw you have to draw the that is closed curve this is the closed curve this is the closed curve whose mod z equal to 2 closed curve that is contour this is c mod z equal to 2 that is center 0 0 center center 0 0 i already explained just in previous example in this lecture and radius is equal to 2 so this point is 2 comma 0 this point is 2 comma 0 okay now you see after getting the singular point after getting the singular point and the closed curve and the closed curve you have to check whether these two points these two that is these two singular points is lies inside the circle or outside the circle if it inside the circle then apply coach's integral formula if it outside the circle no need to apply so you see for these two points that is z plus z equal to i and minus i fz this if, if it is fz then this will not define that is this will not analytic function okay okay now now we are checking 0 comma 1 0 comma 1 because radius is 0 so this point is 0 comma 2 0 comma 2 so 0 comma 1 is in here 0 comma 1 and 0 comma minus 1 just in here that is 0 comma so we are checking here both the points that is lies inside inside closed curve c inside closed curve c so we can apply that is coach's integral formula so before that before that we have to draw that is z square by partial fraction this can be written as 1 by z plus i into z minus i you have to break this into partial fraction how to break so very easily you can find it so here suppose you are writing that is say z minus i first z minus i okay no problem z minus i if z minus i you are putting over here then omit this you have to remove this here so z equal to i if we put z equal to i then what is the value of this this part 1 by 2i you see z equal to i i plus i 2i so you have to write here 1 by 2i okay then plus that is z plus i how to get the numerator that is z plus i equal to 0 that is z equal to minus i you have to remove this 1 by z minus i that means z equal to minus i minus i minus i that is on minus 1 by 2i this is very easiest way very easiest way to get the partial fraction to get the partial fraction once again i repeat you have to write either you can write this first or this first no problem z minus i am writing here so what will be the numerator so z minus i you have to remove from here that means 1 by z plus i in place of z we have to put i that is 1 by 2i 1 by 2i you have to write now z plus i z plus i so z plus i that means you have to remove z plus i from here then we are getting 1 by z minus i z equal to minus i if we put that means this that means minus that is 1 by 2i z minus i minus 1 by 2i z plus i so this is the partial fraction this is i okay this is the partial fraction this is the partial fraction okay okay so now my coach is integral formula now by Cauchy's integral formula. Now by Cauchy's integral formula. By Cauchy's integral formula. Okay. 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 What is what is actually fz here? fz is equal to e to the power z. Let 
f z equal to the numerator. That is let after getting this let f z equal to e to the power z e to the power z f z. So therefore by by purchase integral formula integral formula formula that is f z f z by z square plus 1 dz is equal to integration c f z by z minus i into z plus i again this can be written as c f z so just partial fraction 1 by 2i z minus i minus 1 by 2i z plus i z plus i okay okay z plus i so this is dz 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 so this again can be written as 1 by 2i 1 by 2i that is integration fz by z minus i c minus 1 by 2i integration c fz by z plus i so now by Cauchy's integral formula says that 1 by 2i apply now here Cauchy's integral formula apply Cauchy's integral formula this is formula what is the formula 2 pi i 2 pi i into f of i z0 equal to you can write better that is z0 equal to i minus 1 by 2i that is into 2 pi i by Cauchy's integral formula that is f of z0 equal to minus i okay now we can take 1 by 2i common 1 by 2i i am getting common and 2 pi i also i am getting common so if we put over here z0 equal to i what is fz 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 this was actually fz this was actually fz fz equal to e to the power z so e to the power i minus here z equal z0 equal to minus i e to the power minus i okay so now what will be the answer what will be the answer so e to the power i this is the actual answer so e to the power i minus e to the power minus i so this again can be written as by 2i that is this can be written as 2 pi i 2 pi i equal 2 pi i into try to understand 2 pi i into e to the power i minus e to the power minus i by 2i so this again can be written as 2 pi i sin i this actually sin 1 sin 1 2 pi i into sin 1 sin 1 as you know sin theta equal to e to the power i theta minus e to the power minus i theta by 2i as we know as we know so left side what is left side in the left side it will be c what is fz e to the power z by z square plus 1 z square plus 1 dz this equal to this why it is sin 1 as you know sin 1 means actually this thing you have to follow me that is e to the power i theta minus e to the power minus i theta by 2i equal to sin theta. So here theta equal to 1. If we put theta equal to 1, then sin 1 equal to e to the power i minus e to the power minus i by 2i. So e to the power i minus e to the power minus i by this is 2i. So this again can be written as sin 1. So 2 pi i into sin 1. This is the answer of this sum actually. So I think everybody understood very nicely. So keep watching, sharing and commenting this lecture with your friends. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell. I'll come with my another lecture on coaches integral. That is lecture number three. We'll do more sums on coaches integral. Till then, bye-bye. Thank you.